In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make rotoscope animations in Blender. I'm going to be taking you through the entire process from setting up your scene to adding the outlines to making the fills and finally the rendering and exporting process. So without further ado, let's get into the computer. So open up Blender and switch from the general workspace to the 2D animation workspace. Go over to the auto properties and change the aspect ratio to fit whatever you want to make. Mine is 1080 by 1920. To import a video clip, go into object mode, hit shift A, image, reference and filter by movie files. Scale up the image, go into the object data properties and increase the number of frames and then turn down the opacity. Go back into draw mode and with grease pencil stroke selected, you will find two layers in the stroke object filter properties, a lines layer and a fill layer, and also some materials in the material properties. Now to begin rotoscoping, turn off the pen pressure on the radius and the strength, then increase the strength to what? Then make sure you're on the first frame and on the line layer. And finally, have a material selected with stroke active and trace out your image. Drawing on each frame could take you a couple of seconds to a few minutes to complete depending on how detailed you want to go. You can go about filling up the shapes in two ways. But first you need to have the fill layer selected and the fill material also selected. In the first method, you would use a draw tool to draw on the fills following the outline you have already created. While in the second method, you would have the fill tool selected and then double click inside the shape you would want to fill up. This is useful in filling up shapes that are much larger. So to make the ball, we will need to create a new layer and put that above the line layer in order to have it show up in front of the line and the fill layers. You can either use the circle tool or simply just draw on the wall. If you would want to change the color of the background, simply go to the word settings and pick a color. Now to make the other frames, go three frames forward or however many frames you would want. You will then notice that the previous drawing still shows up. We just need to create new keyframes in order to get the last frame we drew on to disappear. Firstly, turn off onion skinning and simply click outside the camera on each layer in order to get a fresh new frame to draw on. From here get simple, repeat the process from the previous steps and draw on new frames until the video is done. To render out your finished animation, select the file location in the output property tab. Set your file format to PNG and RGB and then render out the animation. When this is done, add a video editing workspace by clicking the plus icon and selecting video editing. Click on add and import your image sequence. Go to the output properties and select a file location and change the file formats to FFmpeg video. Go to the FFmpeg presets and select H264 in MP4 and then render out your animation. And that's how to export your finished animation. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.